guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Engineer Ella. And for today, I will teach you how to get the derivative of certain equations. So, i-run through ko lang yung um, notes ko for derivatives. So, this was posted actually on my Facebook page. So, merong derivative summary of algebraic functions. So, andito yung mga rules. Constant rule, power rule, constant multiple rule, sum and difference rule. Product rule, quotient rule, and chain rule. So most of this will be used later sa ating examples. And also we have um, derivative of exponential functions. And also for logarithmic functions. Of course, for trigonometric functions, later we'll be using some of these also. And this one, inverse trigonometric functions, hyperbolic functions, and in inverse hyperbolic functions. Okay, so um, you can review na lang this one, and I'll proceed that to the examples that we have. Okay, so our first example is this. Find the derivative of the equation y equals square root of x squared minus 4. So the first thing na gagawin nyo is familiarize kung ano yung um, form na itong equation na to. So as you can see, it's an algebraic function. Okay, this one. Okay, so it's an algebraic function, x squared minus 4, and nakapaloob siya sa square root. Okay, so um, we know na yung square root, um, pwede natin siyang i-rewrite as a power. Okay, or as an exponent, which is kapag square root, it's equal to power of one half. So we can rewrite that first. Okay. So that will be, our given will be y equals x squared minus 4 raised to one half. Okay. So ngayon, um, um, pwede natin gamitin yung power rule. Kasi nga, it's in the form of x raised to n. So parang ito yung x natin and then this will be our n. Alright? So um, ito lang yung formula niya. So gagawin lang din natin siya dito. Okay? So y prime. Okay? This is the derivative. Okay? So eto, yung n niya, ilalagay natin as a coefficient. So that's one half. Okay? And then copy lang ito. Right? So that will be x squared minus 4. And um, naka-raise dito, n minus 1. So our n is 1 half minus 1. And we know that 1 half minus 1 is just equal to okay, negative 1 half. Alright? So we'll just write here negative 1 half. Alright? Pero hindi pa dyan natatapos yun kasi we have what we call the chain rule. Okay, which means na if you have an outer function and an inner function, you have to differentiate them both. So um, for this one, um, na-differentiate na natin yung outer function niya kasi nga nag-power rule na tayo. But yung loob niya, okay, meron pa tayong pwedeng ma-differentiate dyan, which is yung x squared minus 4. Okay, so multiply lang siya according to chain rule. Okay, so what's the derivative of x squared minus 4? We know that the derivative of x squared is just 2x, again, according to power rule. And the derivative of 4 naman, or negative 4, is 0. Why? Because of, of the constant rule, which states that any constant derivative is 0. So, ito na siya. And um, we can simplify na. And as you can see, um, we can cancel the 2. Okay? So, ang matitira na lang is x and this one. Now, we can rewrite this, no? Kasi um, usually in uh, uh, algebraic expression, um, we don't um, write equations with um, negative exponents. So according to the law of exponent, diba, kapag may negative, ilalagay siya sa baba. So ano nila yung matitira sa numerator? It's just the x, no? And then, ibababa na natin ito. So that will be x squared minus Okay, and don't forget na one half siya. So that will be square root. Okay, so as you can see, our final answer from the choices will be letter B. Alright, 
So actually, we can also um, do this using the calculator. All right. So here are the steps. The first step is to press shift plus the D over DX button. And then we, need, we just need to type the given equation and set a value for X. Take note that um, the value of X should output a real number for this um, given equation. All right. And then press the equals button and store that value, right? And then after that, we can clear everything. And the, the last step is to evaluate each equation in the choices. So if my choices kayo, ito yung best na gagawin, all right? But if none, then you have to do the analytical solution, all right? So kung meron naman, we can um, use this no, to evaluate using the same value of x kanina dito, all right? And the whichever from the choices matches the stored value is the answer. So let's have a demo for that one. Okay, guys. So I will do a demo on how to do the calculator technique for example number one. So the first step is to um, press shift and D over DX button. So I'll do that. And um, magkakaroon siya ng ganyan. So, our next step natin is to type the given equation. In this case, it's y equals square root of x squared minus 4. Alright? And may kulang pa tayong value, which is yung x. Okay? So, mag-input tayo ng value, any value that would make this, okay, yung nasa loob, a real number. So, for example, if mag-input ako ng 1, okay, that will be square root of 1 minus 4. So, square root of negative 3. Which we know, hindi mag-output ng real number. So, try lang natin. Okay? Magma-math error siya. Okay? So, what we should do is to find a number okay, that would output a real number. So, in this case, pwede tayong mag-input ng 5. Okay? Kasi, um, 5 squared minus 4, that will be positive. And, magkakaroon siya ng value if i-square root natin siya. So, let's try 5. Click equals. Okay. So, mayroon tayong 1.091. Okay. So, um, we just need to store it para hindi na natin siya i-memorize. So, I'll store it as A. Kasi, ikaw compare natin to mamaya sa mga i-evaluate natin. Okay. So, since na-store na natin siya, we can clear it. And the next step is to evaluate each equation in the choices with the same value of X. And whichever matches the stored value is the answer. So, let's try choice A. So, type mo lang yung equation in choice A. So, that would be negative x all over square root of x squared minus 4. Press calc para ma-evaluate mo siya. And yung ginamit natin kanina is 5, correct? So, type 5 and then click equal sign. Okay? So, syempre, kailangan natin yung decimal. So, Ayan siya, negative 1.091. And as you can see, hindi siya equal dun sa stored value natin. But this gives us a clue na um, yung negative lang ng A yung sagot, okay? Which is letter B. So, let's try. Okay, so let's type the equation. That would be x square root of x squared minus 4. And then, let's evaluate that. Let's press calc. Press 5 because it's our value of for x. And press equals. So, for D, it's 1.0910, which matches our stored value earlier, as you can see. So, therefore, the answer for this problem is letter D, or x all over square root of x squared minus 4. So, as you can see, pwede natin isolve yung problem analytically. Or using your calculator, especially if given ka ng choices. Okay, let's go to example number two. So the question is, find the derivative of the equation y equals e raised to x sine x squared. The first step here is to familiarize yourself kung anong form to para malaman natin kung ano yung gagamitin natin sa pag-differentiate. So as you can see, um, it seems like um, product rule yung gagamitin natin, di ba? Kasi we have this multiplied by this. And um, each one of them has um, has their own differentiation, no? So we can use, therefore, the product rule. Alright? So, 
pwedeng ito yung u natin and ito yung v natin. No? U and v. So, let's just rewrite it here. y equals e raised to x sine x squared. Now, our d, y over dx, or let's, just, let's write it as y prime. Okay? Susundin lang natin to. Now, kung ito yung u natin, um, it will just, we'll just copy that, okay? And then yung d, v over dx natin, i-differentiate natin to, since this is our v, we, we will differentiate this with respect to x. And um, from, the, from the formula, okay, of differentiation, we know that the derivative of sine u or sine x will just be cosine, okay? So, cosine x squared. But again, take note that we have this chain rule. Okay, so kapag na-differentiate na natin yung outer function, we also need to differentiate the inner function. Alright? So, um, that will be, multiply pa natin siya sa, sa, der sa derivative ng x squared, which is 2x. Alright? So, tapos na tayo dito. So, we have to add, okay, and then gagawin naman natin itong pangalawang term. So, ano yung v natin? Sine x squared. So, kakapi lang natin yung v. So, that will be sine x squared. Alright? And i-differentiate naman natin yung u natin. And we know that the derivative of e raised to x is still e raised to x. Again, you can check uh, my number, right? So, ito na siya. And as you can see, meron tayong common factor, no? yung e raised to x. We, so, we can factor this out. no? So, that will be y prime equals e raised to x. And then, ito, um, surat ko na yung 2x sa unahan, parang ginakalito. 2x cosine x squared plus ito, sine x squared. Alright? So, this will be our final answer. And from the choices, we can see na letter C siya. So, C is our final answer. And we can also do that by using our calculator. Okay, so same process lang with example number one. Okay, ang kinaibahan lang dito is that um, you should set up uh, the calculator in red. So mamaya mag-evaluate tayo ng value for x and we have a trigonometric function. So um, we should use red. And other steps, same lang. So let's have a demo for calculator technique for this example. So same lang ng steps, okay, but the difference is that this should be in the rad mode. Kasi uh, meron tayong trigonometric function and ang isa-substitute natin mamaya is hindi naman siya naka-degrees. So, we'll do that by pressing shift set up, okay, and then rad is 4. So, press 4. So, naka rad na tayo. Okay, and same lang, press shift and d over dx and we will type our given equation, which is e x, okay, multiplied to sine, okay, x squared, okay? And, syempre, meron tayong value for x again. In this case, pwede natin itry yung 1, alright? And then, press equals. So, uh, meron tayong value na 5.2247. So, we can store it as a. Okay, and we can clear this again. And we will evaluate each equation in the choices with the same value of x. So, let's start with letter A. So, try natin. E, x, cosine. Okay, cosine, x squared. Alright, minus 2, x, sine, x squared. Okay, let's press calc and 1. Okay, so as you can see, hindi siya nagmatch dun sa stored value natin. So let's try choice B. E raised to x multiplied by cosine x squared minus 2x times sine okay, x squared. Let's press calc. Value 1 again. So, 
hindi pa rin siya nagmatch. Okay? So, let's try choice C. Okay? So, E raised to x times sine x squared. Okay? Plus 2x cosine x squared. Calc 1. It's 5.2247, which is the same as our stored value A. Therefore, the answer for this problem is letter C or E raised to x multiplied by sine x squared plus 2x cosine x squared. Alright guys, um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you learned from this video. And um, I'm inviting you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow and like my Facebook page, Engineer Ella, and also my other social media accounts, Instagram and Twitter, at Engineer Ella. So see you guys in my next video. Thank you!